Did you know Tiffin has two brand new Super C's? Yep, we're going to show you both of them, the 38AB and the BB. All right, one of the things I like about the new Allegro Bay uh, Super C's are the colors, the paint schemes. This is really sharp. That one is equally as sharp, but if I'm picking, I'm going with this one here. Some of the features they have are a ton of storage. Although there's not a lot of pass-through storage, they do have two pass-overs. So there's something in the middle blocking you from pushing straight over so you can put a few things inside and then a few longer things on top to the other side. Comes with a 12,000 pound weight rated hitch. What we optioned and we're the only ones in the market that does this is a manual dump valve for the rear suspension. So when you're unhitching, right. it lowers three to four inches when you press that button in the cockpit. Right. It'll air back up when you're going five miles per hour. Okay, so when you get moving again. So uh, you got a little bit of yeah. leeway to like actually get it Gotcha. away from the hitch and That's the, really... the tow vehicle, whatever you have. Driver's side rear, you have your aqua hot. Same side, you have your Onan QD 8,000 watt generator, just like we have. Still on the driver's side, we have your cord wheel and your gray and black tank sewer hose connection, separate from wet bay. We haven't seen this before. I like the way you keep your dirty and your clean separate. Forward on the driver's side, right behind the driver's side door, is your battery bay. This one comes with four AGM batteries and right behind it on the same battery tray are your two chassis batteries. One of the things I really love is they put this new access door on the back of the refrigerator, like so. Ours has the four screws and you have to take the paddle off. Both the Tiffin Super C's come equipped with the Magnum Energy 2000 watt inverter right here in the overhead of your storage bay. We also got a uh, track tech nose spin differential. It's exclusive for Tiffin as well. So, you know, you see in those movies where like the, the mud's spinning out, right, you know, right. spinning out because one of the wheels start turning and digging into the mud. Right. There is continuous torque on both those wheels, so gotcha. it's going to try to get you out. We, we could have used that feature when we got stuck in the mud. Oh, no. <laughs> we did. We did. We had to get pulled out, but we made it out. But this would have really helped us. The 38AB comes with a uh, Cummins ISB 6.7 liter engine, 360 horsepower, and it, of course, has the Allison 3000 manual uh, six-speed transmission. One of the things you're going to see in the competition in the cargo bay is the pull cord for the air release. Yeah. We don't have that. It's automatic air tank release, and it's also heated. So, you know, in those cold conditions where you might have that little drip uh, from the air tanks, you don't right. have to worry about that they're heated tanks. So wow. Wow. it's always cool. adventure ready. It's four okay. season ready, uh, along with heated, air, uh, heated tanks as well for, you know, your carrying. Uh, four seasons ready. We might have to fleet up. All right, one of the things we've noticed on this uh, Allegro Bay Super C is the def is up front and the fuel is all the way on the back cap. I know you're dying to know the tank sizes, so here we go. 100 gallon diesel tank, 150 gallon freshwater tank, 45 gallon black tank, 70 gallon gray tank, and a 24 gallon propane tank. We thought we'd start the inside tours with the floor plan we like the most, and this is the 38 BB. All right, so the reason, one of the main reasons I like this one over the other one is I feel like this front area is actually set up like a living room. You can see here we have the couch slash, I guess it's as uh, big as a couch, and it's right across from the TV, and there's no kitchen appliances or anything with the kitchen in this little section of the class seat. The sofa is also a pull-out bed, so that's extra sleeping if you have company. And then on the other side, of course, is your TV, which will hide and move out of the way if you want to see these big, huge windows here. And, of course, your dining table is also a desk, so you can work this out um, however you need it. So let's pop into the cab area. As you can see, for starters, it does come up, so you're not going to bump your head coming in and out. And there's also a bed here or storage, however you guys want to work it. And there is a window in this bed, so it's going to bring extra light to the front. So the cab itself is not going to be all dark um, like some of the Class C's are. All right, if you're wondering how much space is in this bed area over the cab, as you can see, not really a lot. So if you're taller than me, you're going to have trouble here. But there is some sneaky little storage up here. So if you have somebody staying with you or if you need more storage, you have it hidden up here. And this thing actually goes down pretty far. Whew, above my head everywhere here. So that is a bonus if you have a kid or a guest staying with you. 
All right. One of the things that I really like about Super C's or Class C's is the fact that I feel like I can drive it as opposed to our motorhome, which feels so much bigger. Here, when I'm sitting, in, I'm sitting in the cab of a truck, so I feel more, a little more confident. Both of the chairs up here have air ride suspension, so you should be very comfortable on your drive. Both of Tip and Super C's come with two air conditioners. Both of them are 15,000 BTUs. All right, let's hit the heart of the home. Of course, whether you're full-timing or part-timing, while you're in this rig, this will be the heart of your place too, and that is the kitchen. Both of these rigs have double sinks here, covered, of course, for that extra counter space, and, oh, this is heavy. And they also have an induction stove top. Now, both of these units also come with a dishwasher. So if you want a dishwasher, it's here. Or I would rather have bonus cupboard space here instead. Convection oven and microwave. And they have used this space very well. You can see there's some deep storage here. Oh, look who signed it. Oh, yeah, Bob Tiffin. And you have your, your pantry here along with some small drawers um, all down this row. Good use of space. Yeah, and you can see here you're, you have a control panel here in the kitchen. And on the other side is the control panel for your batteries. It's your Magnum. So I prefer the bathrooms here in this model as opposed to that other floor plan. But of course, it's going to be what your preference is. So this one has a half bath. And you can see they really use space well. They have a ton of cabinets and storage in this half bath. And of course, there's plenty of room in here to oh. use the toilet. You'll Stacey actually approved. fit. That's right. They do have residential fridges in both of these units. And as this one, you can see, is a little smaller than the other unit. But the bonus is I can actually get food out of the freezer. And then in the bedroom, it does come with a king size bed, of course. It comes with all the storage you need in the closets. There is a ton of storage in the Super C in the bedroom. Um, because if you come right back here with me, you'll see it has the full size bath in the rear of the RV. And not only do you get more storage in here, but you actually get a stackable washer and dryer, as well as more storage for clothing or whatever. And this, come around here, Phil. Wow, I actually sense. would fit in this closet. It is massive, massive. Wait, let's see. Hold on, let me get, let me get, let me nope. get. <laughs> I could practically climb into that bad boy. It is huge, huge. All right, and then of course the shower is a pretty good size shower. And even the tall folks are going to be able to take a shower in here. So this is a nice size. All right, there is plenty of room here in this bathroom to use this toilet. But I got to say, this could be a pro and a con for you. This does has a, have a Dometic toilet. So there's not a little foot pump. You're going to be hitting the button to flush. That means you're going to use a lot more water if you're boondocking. Just came back in here to double check. This toilet does have a foot pedal, so this is gonna use as much or as little water as you need. So if you're boondocking, just don't use the back and just use this toilet up here. Although both of these Super C's are just over 39 feet, the inside could not be more different. As you can see here with this one, the kitchen is pushed over here in the corner and you have a different style of living area. But the one thing I want to point out, or maybe two things I want to point out that I don't really like about this floor plan. First up is this fridge. Yes, it's a larger uh, residential fridge, but you can see here, it will cause me a bit of difficulty. I cannot reach the top shelf, so I have a problem with that. Although if you're, if you're much taller than me, I'm five foot even, you'll be fine. The bonus is there is a drawer underneath the fridge just for more storage. The second thing that's not my favorite is the fact that there is a split bath here there is only one bathroom in this model and it's a split bath i feel like you get more bang for the buck with the other model which has a bath and a half so for those of you that don't know what the all the acronyms and gv and gcws mean it means the total amount of weight that you can have on board these super c's can weigh up to forty-five thousand pounds including all your cargo and all that cargo means everything that you bring inside to include your tanks fuel tank water tank 
all of that. So know what your limits are before you start packing it all in. If you are trying to decide which one of these Tiffin Super C's are best for you, just know that you will have to sacrifice no matter which one you choose. If you choose the 38AB, you will sacrifice the bedroom and the bathroom. If you choose the 38BB, you will sacrifice the kitchen and the living space. These Tiffin Super C's are a brand new product for them. They just rolled them out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the tour. Yeah, we really liked going through them to see what Tiffin has put in, the, the amount of work they put into them. Very nice floor plans. But don't worry, Ruby's not going anywhere. We will no. be keeping our Tiffin 33AA for the long haul. For those of you asking us about the RVing in the USA TV show, we have an update for you. Yeah, it aired about an hour ago. Um, so <laughs> a late it, update. Yes, this is a late update. So for, for those of you that are wondering when it's going to air, where it's going to air, it has aired already today on the Discovery Motor Trend channel. We will put more information on where you can find it in the description down below. Now it is that is the first episode of the season, so there will be many more episodes to go. And then also after it airs on motor trend they may air it somewhere else so we will keep you posted on that in the future all right guys thanks again for watching and hopefully we'll see you on, on the, the road, road.